Well, welcome to this week's episode of Think Tank Thursday. I am Candy, and I'm excited to be spending this time with you. I am also your guest for today. On Thursdays, Trainer Entertainment likes to get away from the doing and spend a little bit of time thinking. And so today I've come to think with you guys about um, birthdays. And we at Trainer Entertainment, coming up on September 1st and 2nd, uh, we have a birthday pro conference that will be live in the Dallas Fort Worth area. You can go to our website, trainertainment.net, and check out all of the details there. So, in celebration of that and getting ready for birthday season to start for all of the locations out there, um, we're going to talk about a very specific topic here this week. But first, we have to give a big shout out to our 2021 digital sponsors. Um, we cannot do this without them. And so you see them all on the side there. We've got Redemption Plus, Expert Hosiery, Simnox, Schaefer, Embed, Hager, Communications, Party Center Software, um, Creative Works, and People First. They are 2021 digital sponsors, and we love them for sponsoring this and allowing us to bring Think Tank to you every week. So let's talk about today's topic. Um, with birthday seasons come coming up and um, School's going back that always boosts birthday party sales for us. You know, it's a really good time to think about how you're going to handle the influx of birthday parties that should be coming in this season. Uh, we have to remember that we haven't had a whole lot of birthday parties in the last year to year and a half, depending on where you're located. And so that means your host haven't been hosting a whole lot of parties too. So take it from us as a training and coaching company. Take this time now before it gets too crazy with birthdays to identify some hosts, get them trained up, spend some time with them, think through your processes, make sure that they still work. Think through your packages. Are they the best? Are they priced the way that they should be um, coming out of the year that we've had? And be on top of that now so that when you're in the throes of true birthday season where you're booked out and have a whole lot of things going on on those Saturdays and Sundays, you'll be ready for it. And so with that, and in today's topic, I'm just coming to talk to you guys about some ideas that you can use to add value to birthday parties. Now, all of these ideas are low or no cost, and they can return pretty big value for you. Um, and I would love it if you guys interacted and in the comments, let me know if you use any of these top tips or other top tips that you would like to share with the group about what it can, what can you do that's low or no cost that returns pretty big value and enhances the experience for birthday parties. Because birthday parties really are an experience. Um, you know, we all have that one birthday that we may remember from our childhood. I'm hoping I'm making lots of those for my kids um, that they'll remember later on. But they're extremely important days and they should be celebrated and should be treated like an experience. And so one of the first things that, you know, comes to mind is, have you ever been to the airport? And when you come up and I'm at, I live outside of Atlanta. So I use the Atlanta airport. And for anyone who's been to the airport, it's a very dramatic entrance back into population when you're coming off the planes, because there's this really tall escalator that goes up and you can't see anybody that's at the top of it. And then finally you get to the top and you see all these people. And a lot of times when I get up there, there's these groups of people and they have signs. I love going around Christmas time when people are coming home for the holidays because there's signs and balloons and, you know, maybe flowers. But, uh, you know, people are holding these signs and it says, welcome, insert name here. And man, do those people feel welcomed and loved and like everyone's appreciative that they are there. So we suggest that you can bring that over into birthday parties. You can use that airline style welcome sign, um, have a host be at check-in about five to 10 minutes before the party is to arrive, holding the sign to welcome the party. If you, if you have balloons, you can keep balloons on the cart and you can have the balloons on the cart, holding the sign, ready to take everything from that mom and dad as soon as they walk in. Um, and let's know we're there. We're excited that they're there and we start helping them from the moment they walk in because you know they're walking in with the cake, they're walking in with the goodie bags if they made themselves, the presents they're getting their own kit. And so by us being there to welcome them with that airline sign and having a cart ready, we can start helping them immediately and they feel so welcome. So 
that's one small tip that um, costs nothing. It's printing it out, creating a design and then printing it out. Um, some people use dry erase boards and so they just re reuse it over and over throughout the day. Some people laminate a sign and then use wet erase markers and just fill in the name. So really low or no cost to pull this off for your guest. So next tip, have some way that the birthday or guest of honor can be recognized by the entire staff. This can be as simple as you could have a pin that you put on the birthday child. We, um, back in my operations day, we had custom stickers made. And so all of the birthday, not only did we recognize the birthday child, but we put a custom sticker on the birthday parent as well. And then train the staff to look for those um, things and then have them bring out their own personality and make sure that they at least tell the guest of honor, happy birthday. Maybe they give the guest of honor, you know, high fives or do a special move for them. Um, you know, you could have a signature move. It could bring up their personality or you could have a location facility-wise signature move that everyone does to the birthday child to celebrate them. It, um, you know, it makes that child feel more special. We love being told happy, even as adults, we love being told happy birthday when it's our birthday. And so it just enhances the experience and gets people outside of just the party host and the party coordinator involved in the celebration of the birthday on that day. So um, next, here's what we know. Um, next is a party flow card. And the reason a party flow card can be so important is that our experiences and data shows us that when a party parent does not know what to expect next, that is when their anxiety begins to grow. And so um, not knowing what time the pizza will be there or when will the kids come back into the room or any of that. And as that anxiety grows, their frustration level will grow, their satisfaction level will decrease. And so we can easily address this from the very beginning by talking with them and going through a party flow card. The party flow card should outline exactly the flow and timing of each segment of the party that, they that they'll be having with you. Um, and it also helps to build confidence that they're in perfect hands. It's all planned out. We are their partner in making sure that this is their perfect day. And this is further proof that we've got it taken care of. Now, in my experience, I know some locations use this and the host carries it around, but in my experience, it was always good to have a couple of these laminated and I left one with the party mom or dad so that they could check it and see where we were and how far along we were in the party. So if they ever forgot, they she got to keep it as a chart of reference for her, for them. So another easy thing, enhance the experience, control the expectations, make sure everyone is satisfied at the end of the day. Party flow card, if you don't have it, you can. that's easy to um, begin using. Um, my next idea is so much fun and it involves all of your party hosts and your party coordinators. So basically bring out the costumes, allow your staff to collect props that can be used in any party to amp up the excitement. So if your party host notices that the guest of honor is bringing in a pirate cake, then maybe there's a pirate patch in our costume treasure chest. Um, and then you go get a patch and put it on and wear it for the duration of the party. If it's a princess cake, maybe we have some tiaras in that costume treasure chest that we can throw on and wear the tiara for, as the party host for that party. You know, there's superhero capes, um, Mickey Mouse ears, um, lots of things that you can have that just uh, that, that can enhance and amp up that party to another level when you see what type of cake that they're already bringing in and we match up to it. This is lots of fun because hosts can make requests. Um, I know worked with some locations that came to the virtual clinic that talked about giving each host a small budget once they got promoted to host that allowed them to go and find things that they contributed to the treasure chest. And I thought that was a great idea as well. So costumes, let them have as much fun as they can with that guest of honor. Another really good idea is to have an apron for the party host. Um, the implementation, allow party hosts to wear aprons for two main reasons here. Number one is so they can easily be found by party parents. We work with a lot of locations and seldom do party hosts have a different uniform than everyone else who's working on the floor. And so when the 
party mom or dad is looking for the party host, what is going to be the differentiator? How do they know who's a host and who's not in the sea of the same uniforms? So we want to make sure that they can find it. And then number two is to be prepared with miscellaneous items. There is nothing is worse for a party host than having to leave the party for something. So have them be prepared and think ahead of needs that may be needed that may not be in your party packages. For instance, um, I have been that mom before that has had a beautiful cake and I had the candles, but I had no lighter. And so we had to delay the cutting of the cake because I had to send someone out to the nearest store to get a lighter. How great would it have been if a party house could have come to my rescue and been like, oh, you forgot the lighter? No problem. I have one right here in my apron. So think about lighter, pens, candles, um, you know, any of that stuff. I'd be curious to know and let me know in the comments, what else do you think could be helpful for a host to have in that apron? You can take the apron a step further and you could just get blank aprons. Maybe they have your logo on them. But once a host is promoted and is a host, you can have them give them the ability to decorate their, their apron for their personality style. Um, in the virtual clinic, we had someone who came and they had, when they first introduced aprons, they were all the hosts together, had a host meeting, and they all decorated their aprons together to fit their personality. And I thought that was a, such a great idea. Um, and so giving the apron to the host, letting them shine their personality through it, could, it will be lots of fun. The next, um, idea I'm going to talk about is just games. Having just a notebook that you guys keep with a resource of games and dances, maybe jokes that a host can use or study when or if needed. Um, I know all of you, especially in today's world of family entertainment centers, have a ton of attractions and those are awesome. But there are still some times where the host is, may need a time filler. And so it's a great resource to have these. You could have them do a dance and there's some easy dances to learn and to teach kids. Um, you could have the kids teach you dances these days. You could have some jokes that you can tell and everyone can tell their best joke. You can have some small games that can be played. Um, and none of this has to cost any amount of large budget. Um, it's just things. And what I like to do with the music and games piece is that when you're having those host training meetings, identify a host each meeting to bring a new resource that can be added to this and teach it to the group. So I have had hosts come in and teach how to make a certain balloon animal or how to do a magic trick. Um, I've had hosts come in and do like a series of jokes and teach them to their other hosts. So getting the host involved in their training and they're sharing what amongst each other is a great idea in this area as well. My next tip is how you cut the cake. Um, now we can all just go get a knife and cut our cake and drag that knife down and ruin all the icing because we know what happens. You drag that knife and then everything comes with that drag with it. Or you can allow your host and teach your host how to use dental floss to cut cakes. Now, Dental floss won't work with frozen cakes. It will not work with ice cream cakes, but if it's a traditional sheet cake or round cake, it will totally work. It will not ruin the look of the cake and moms often see it as a party trick. Anytime I ever did this at a birthday party, I always had someone from the party come and say, oh my gosh, where did you learn that? Did you create that? And I was always like, no, some baker somewhere created this. Now the trick with cutting with dental floss, you gotta work it all the way to the bottom. Once you get to the bottom of the cake, unravel it from one of your fingers and pull it off the other end. Don't try to come back up with it. And it is a little bit of a back and forth motion as you get to the bottom of the cake and then unravel and then the then cut again. The other thing I really like about dental floss is that it allowed me to make really straight cuts. And so if I had a sheet cake and I knew I, I could see I needed to get, a, you know, 16 pieces out of it or 24 pieces, I could do the math real quick to know how many rows and how many columns I needed out of that sheet cake to make sure that there's a piece of cake for everybody that was there. And so, um, so yeah, Cake cutting, dental floss. Have any of you guys tried this? Uh, do you like it? Have did you used to do it and you have abandoned this practice? It might be time to bring it back. Back. Um, next is simple, and you would like to think that your party hosts are doing it all the times, but upsell items. 
guests can't add items on if they do not know what's available. And so I want to look at this from two different avenues. Number one, many of us are using an online booking platform to book parties these days. Check it out as a user. Go through the process and see if I can add things and how the upsells show up to me. It should, um, you know, I know that our sponsor party center software and their software, it shows up really in the Amazon cart type way. You bought this and here are some suggested upsells for that. Um, as the user who used that system, I could adjust the order that those things came up. I could group them together. I kind of really controlled what that looked like on the back end. Some tips is that you want people to get through it, to be see what the upsell items to price out their party and all of those things before they ever have to really log into your system. You don't want them to have to do a username or password until they're going to purchase it for it. And so look at this from the user end. Second is that you wanna make sure that your hosts are very familiar with all of the items that are available for upsell and what the time limits are for that. I know sometimes the kitchen and the pizza can get um, kind of crazy on those busy days. So take the time the host, take the time at the beginning of each party, to talk with the party parents about everything to expect for that day, and then also to go through any upgrade opportunities that may still be available to the party parents. This could be goodie bags, it could be extra food, it could be a balloon bouquet, it could be pictures of soda for the additional guests, whatever it is that you, it could be additional game cards or upgrading game cards, or if you have a VR attraction, maybe you allow the add-on of a VR experience for a lower price than a walk-in price. Whatever it is, make sure that the party hosts have that knowledge, that they can talk about it, and they feel comfortable in the way that they greet parents to bring those opportunities to the parents. Last is a gift list. I understand that a gift list may be regional. I am Southern in the South. We still very much open gifts. Um, we care um, but I have had locations and other regions that never opened a gift. I also have seen a trend with, with so many attractions and so many of your locations, and they're so awesome that, and with the social media um, availability now, some people are choosing to take their gifts home, and then they'll just record their kid opening that particular person's gift, send them a message, or if they have an event um, listing, uh, like a Facebook event for the party, they'll just record it or go live there with the kid opening the gifts. So I know that this is trend is changing, but if they are going to open gifts in your location, Ask them if you if they would like for you to keep a gift list. Um, it'll make it easier on the party parent if they if they are going to send out thank you cards. Um, if they're not, they may not even care about the gift list. I am a crazy parent who let who I won't let my kid play with a toy until she gives a thank you to that person. And so as she's older, she'll start writing those thank you cards out. Um, in the past, she's had to call them or send them a message. But um, as she is approaching ten next year, we are going to start with this the old school of thank you cards in the mail and getting her used to that so this is something that I would appreciate but you always want to check with the party parent about this particular idea to see if it's even something that's of interest to them my last really easy idea is how you present the bill so um, ideally we would have the manager or party coordinator on duty present the bill to the party parents five to 10 minutes before the end of the party. We wanna do this in one of those nice restaurant presenter style bills. The reason that the bill should be presented by a party coordinator or manager is that it allows the guests to voice any compliments, rave reviews, concerns, or anything like that with the manager or party coordinator without having to go directly through the host. Um, it also allows the manager to thank the guests for their business. And if you have one of the systems that the tip must be put into the system before the card is run, a party host does not like to ask for their own tips. And so, and the, and so if you add on tips in that way, having a manager or coordinator in closing out the party be like, oh, would you like to add a tip to this? it takes that responsibility off of the party host as well. And so um, presenting that, going in, having it nice. And this is, um, you can also have a comment card in there or a QR code to a survey that you may have that's in the, that stays in the bill presenter. It just is a much nicer way to just up that experience up just a little bit um, for you to present that bill other than just handing the receipt piece of paper to them and asking them to pay it. So 
that's it guys those are my quick ideas for how you can get start getting ready for birthday season and really kind of enhance the experience that the party guests have without a whole lot of extra work or money on your part i would love to know what's most useful for you are there ideas that you have that I did not think about in here? Um, let's talk about those in the comments section. You can email them, candy at trainertainment.net. And, you know, maybe the next time I, I share this with someone, your idea may be on there as well, because um, we're always learning from each other. And that's what Think Tank Thursday is, is about. So thanks for being with me today. I have a few updates for you. Like I said, coming up September 1st and 2nd, we have our birthday pro conference in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Um, you can check that out at trainertainment.net events and you will um, can register for that there. We also have um, the customer service SOAR webinar that will be coming up on September 3rd. You just, um, that registration is open on our website as well. And um, then our friends at Creative Works have Amusement 360 coming up in a couple of weeks and Beth will be there. And then Sonia is going to be at Skate. So if anyone's at Skating down in Florida, you can go by and, and see Sonia as well. Um, lastly, this is my plea that if any of you want to be a guest on Think Tank, please email me, Candy, at Think Tank candy at trainertainment.net we i we can talk about whatever it is you want to talk about you got certain challenges that you want to pose out to this group of this great community that we have built here do you want to talk about ideas that you have um do you want to talk about how you are getting through the changes that are happening right now let's talk about it i'm here for you so just let me know like i said candy at trainertainment.net and we will get you on the schedule um so Thank you guys. I know there's typically a signature question for Think Tank. So what am I doing currently to grow myself and others? Uh, it hasn't changed since Beth and I were on. It's back to school. I will tell you, I am going to be a first time soccer coach. And so I have been for growing myself. I've been learning some drills that are good for four-year-olds because my four-year-old daughter will be coached by me as her dad is now coaching our nine-year-old and it's hard to coach both teams. Um, so to grow myself, I'm learning how to be a little league soccer coach. And then others, hopefully I'll help those uh, kids on the field starting Thursday night. Um, just learn and love to be outside and to exercise and to have fun with activity and to be a touch competitive, but mainly for the fun of it and not um, get make it be too serious. So all, all the good vibes from you guys for that, that would be great. Um, always, you can find me, you know, my email address, I'm on LinkedIn, so you can find me in any of those places. Thank you again to our 2021 digital sponsors. And um, Thank you, everyone. We'll see you next time. Have a good Thursday. Bye. Hello, my name is Brittany Betty, and I am the Regional Sales Director and Business Development Manager over at Betson Enterprises. Here at Betson, we are so excited to be a part of Train Entertainment this year. For those of you who are unaware of Betson and what we do, we are the leading distributor of coin-operated equipment, and we are a family-owned business that has been around for 85-plus years. Please take a moment to watch a quick video on an introduction on the phased approach and turnkey solution we can offer you in your facility.
Thank you so much for taking the time for watching. And if you have any questions and would like to reach out to me, I can be reached at my email at bbetty, B-B-E-T-T-I, at betson, B-E-T-S-O-N.com. Please feel free to reach out to me with any questions or needs you might have in the family entertainment industry, and I would be happy to assist you. Thank you and have a great day. Are you looking for ways to maximize profits and consolidate systems and processes? Join the Party Center Software and Party Center Pay family. Our suite of solutions makes it easy for you to run your family entertainment center or event business. Our online party booking system makes booking parties and events a breeze. Our point of sale system, digital waivers, and reports will help you simplify steps for your staff and make your guest experience seamless. Our online store allows you to sell products, gift certificates, and other services anytime, even when you're sleeping. But it doesn't end there. All of the solutions mentioned connect with our payment processing platform, Party Center Pay, making it easier than ever to manage your business. Not only can Party Center Pay save you money by cutting out extraneous fees, but Party Center Pay makes it easy to take online deposits or full payments, and we even have a contactless payment option. Paired with our incredible support team and dedicated customer success managers, Growing and managing your business has never been easier. Schedule a call with us today to learn more. My wife and I, you know, this is a partnership with her and I, so we both agreed that, you know, in, in creating scary strokes, um, that we want to make sure that we have the best available of everything. You know, embed just seemed like the perfect fit. Like, you know, it was pretty streamlined and had the, the point of sales and the, the software for the redemption. And it just seemed, you know, natural to us. So we've been with embed since, since the very beginning. And so when, uh, when embed, you know, it was introducing the mobile wallet, it seemed like a good opportunity for us to, to jump on. And it's wonderful. I mean, you don't, <laughs> you reload your card from it. You, you know, redeem your tickets from it. There's, there's nothing not to like about it. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's very convenient. And it's uh, very clever for sure. Empowering your employees to manage your redemption area with confidence can be a challenge. The redemption counter is often the last stop your customers make before leaving your facility. That's why we do everything we can to help your staff make that experience one worth returning for. Our service packages allow you to reap the benefits of expertise and customer support no matter where your business is in its maturity. The advanced and pro service bundles are unmatched by any other redemption provider in the industry. They allow you to get the support you need when you need it. Gain confidence in your redemption program knowing your employees are taking advantage of benefits like exclusive redemption training, regular planogram refreshes, product performance and spending reports, and much more. All accessible from an online portal customized to your business. Learn more at services.redemptionplus.com.